Welcome back to Digits here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. What video games might you want to consider playing this January? Well, who better to ask than Jamin Warren. He joins us now from Kill Screen here in New York City. Thank you very much for being here, sir. Thanks for having me. So let, let's let's get cracking. Um, you, you've got three games we might want to consider uh, blowing our time on. Let's go with Space Team first. Sure. Space Team was developed uh, by a former developer at BioWare Games, which is known for their big RPG epics such as Mass Effect. Um, it's one of the craziest games I've played for iOS. It works really simply. Pretend you're at the helm of the space at the Enterprise. All of you hold your iOS devices, and then you get a set of all kinds of crazy commands from release the hounds to adjust the auto flanger. So the goal is for the four of you to work in tandem with your iOS devices to keep the ship basically from uh, falling in the wormholes, your panels falling apart. It's totally manic. It's a great use of cooperative cooperative devices for iOS. And and, and what if you have uncooperative uh, trouble causes in your group? Does that does that make it a, a nightmare? Someone needs to take charge, and actually you get awards at the end of each round. So for most cooperative, most combative, uh, it's usually, we found it was really helpful to go in turn, perhaps as if a real spaceship would work. So you kind of have one captain, and then everyone else is just yelling orders at each other. Oh, I, I do, do love that. That sounds like a lot of fun. Does anyone say, beam me up, Scotty, there's no intelligent life here? That's optional. That's optional. Okay. Well, there's, there's a new one for you. Okay, next one, hundreds. Hundreds is developed by a company called Semi-Secret Software, um, some of the minds behind a really popular Flash game called Cannibal. Uh, again, Hundreds is one of these games that is really designed to be played for touch services, and you see more indie developers doing this, building games that could really only be played on a single platform. The gameplay is super simple. Um, you have small circles that you sort of control with your fingers, and the goal is you want to make them expand or contract so that they uh, have a value of about 100. Um, as gameplay increases, you end up with a bunch of different challenges. The, the bubbles do different sorts of things. But again, it's one of these kind of pop and play puzzle type games that you, you see are becoming very popular on iOS devices. Now, what, what about ad addiction to it? it? It sounds like you could get kind of um, like that could really suck away a lot of time. Is, have you been addicted to it? Well, I find that it can be fun to play with other people. So using the you know iOS um, for the iPad, using the multi-touch capability. So you can kind of organize things with another person. There's another game that came out last year called Fingle that was in the same category. Um, you're seeing game developers sort of experimenting with the tactile capabilities of touch devices. Okay, and it does, we're looking at pictures of it now, and it does look very, very beautiful, um, beautiful graphics there. Um, okay, let's go to the last one, uh, Soda Drinker Pro. Soda Drinker Pro is a uh, first-person uh, soda drinking game. Um, it was designed by a video game designer named Will Byerly. He sent, a, he sent a note to us at the office that we should check it out. It's a bit of a trip and uh, deservedly sh so. The game's really simple. You're supposed to walk around these different environments and drink a can of soda. Um, we sort of liked it here at the office for its uh, absurdist qualities. You don't really see a lot of games that sort of are both have the feel of being unfinished but have a high sense of humor. It'll take you about five minutes to finish. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I, we really appreciate this kind of uh, <laughs> it's, it's a... Re it's a really strange game. Well, presumably they're going to come up with uh, some sort of follow-up game called uh, Beer Drinker Pro, in which case, in which as you drink more, it gets harder to actually achieve the goal. <laughs> There's actually a, a game, a popular arcade game called Tapper that was sponsored by Budweiser. Uh, in the early 80s where you played as a bartender and you served angry patrons drinks. So perhaps that isn't too far off after all. Okay. Well, it sounds, uh, sounds like a lot of fun. Um, always a pleasure. Thank you very much, Jamin Warren of Killscreen.